Just bear with me a second. All right. Hello, 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 and welcome to Lunch Break with Shell. My name is Shell Anderson. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Today we are going to be doing a, what I'm going to call a wonky one sheet wonder. Um, I tried to tape this video on the weekend while I was at the trailer and I did not realize that I had lost my video feed and I only had eight seconds of video taped and I did the whole video and completed all four of the cards. So tonight I am going to recreate the cards, show you how to do it. We'll do four cards tonight and stick around to the end of the video and I will show you the four cards using new product that I did in the previous video that failed. All right, so I went into my scrap bin tonight, I'll be honest, and I pulled out some pieces of cardstock and found some DSP that matched it. That's what we're gonna use. I think my video might have stopped. Nope, still going. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do tonight is be using the stitched, or sorry, not stitched, layering circles dies. That's what I'm using. I'm using Granny Apple Green, Garden Green, Blackberry Bliss, and White. This is a retired piece of paper. This is from the Strawberry Bundle from Days Gone By. That's okay. You just need to learn how to make this card. And these are three quarter inch strips of Blackberry Bliss. We're going to use some of those as well. All right. The only thing I didn't get was insides for my cards and I have some pre-cut here so we will just grab four of those. All right so while we're chit-chatting here what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these liners to the insides of the card and I'm going to explain a couple things to you as to why I'm calling this a wonky one sheet wonder. Basically we're making four cards from one six by six piece of DSP. It's wonky because of the way we're gonna oh crap didn't want to do that. It's wonky because of the way that the um, paper is cut. The DSP is cut. So I don't know what you, you're supposed to call this, but I'm calling it a wonky one sheet wonder. And it works beautifully. Once you do it once, you're going to say, why didn't I think of this myself? Because that's what I said. You know, we're always cutting circles and rectangles, circles and rectangles. Do you see what I just did? Got yapping and put that on the outside of the card. So we're going to fix that. We're just going to flip it and pop it on the inside. No problemo. I'm not going to sweat the small stuff today. It's a little discoloration there, so I'm going to make that the back of my card. And we'll cover that up. All right, so we have our four card bases. Now we're going to need a pencil and our paper trimmer. And I'm going to show you how to do this. It's super, super simple. If your pattern, if your DSP has a direction, make sure that your direction's going up. This paper, I'm going to say this is up. Okay? So. We're going to measure over one and a half inches. I want to make sure I'm in the camera here. We're going to go one and a half inches and then we're going to make a tick mark. We're going to rotate one and a half inches, tick mark. 
you got it one and a half inches tick mark one and a half inches tick mark so if you look at this on each side there will be there it is there just locate all your tick marks and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut opposite sides so there's a tick mark here and a tick mark here i'm going to put that in the channel on my paper trimmer and cut okay then i'm going to flip it keep those pieces together and i'm going to put this tick mark got to keep them lined up is the trick here and this tick mark I'm pretty good here right now and you cut so now you have four pieces of DSP each piece has a square corner that's key okay so now we're just going to take all of these, doesn't matter which way we pile them, because each one of those has a perfectly square corner. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the first one. So this is my square corner, right? So if this is the front of my card. This has to go in a corner, okay? Two straight edges. So this edge and this edge, I'm going to mark those, this edge and this edge, I'm going to frame it with some of this cardstock just to make a little border and make it pop. The reason I'm not doing this edge is because that has, that's the 90 degree square corner that we have to put on our um, on our corner of our card base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this in. There's our corner. There's my mark. I am going to put. glue's going on that mat but that's okay because it's going to pop right off of that silicone mat and I'm done and you can make this border as narrow or as wide as you want the only trick here is that I get a little bit of glue over the edge is that you want to um, be able to match them as best you can. You don't want it real thick on one side and real thin on the other side. So you see I'm trying to match this border and this border. And I think I didn't do a very good job. So let's see if I can have another shot at it. There we go. All right. So now I could find my snips what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut up there and cut down there all right that's piece one done let's quickly bring in the next one there's a 45 or a 90 degree angle so I'm gonna be do something different on this one I'm gonna flip it and use the opposite side mark those two sides okay then I'm going to put my adhesive on those two marked sides and we'll grab another piece and we will get a little border on here just to give it a little bit of uh, definition. And another one. Let's 
try to match that up as best we can. That looks pretty good. And we'll trim that one out. Easy, right? And because this paper is has such good coordination, I'm easily able to flip it. All right, here we have a nice corner. So that one and that one get adhesive. All right, I went over the edge a bit there. Let's just roll that to the back side. Now, I think I should be able to use this little piece that was left over from the last one. Oh, that wasn't a very good cut. Let me try that again. I think my scissors are a little gummed up. All right, now we're going to need a long piece. Try to match those borders. Get them square. Something like that, I think. No, that's not very good. And I know why now, because I don't have enough adhesive up here. There we go. All right, let's just trim that up. All right, I think I'm gonna flip it over this way again. So we're gonna put adhesive on this little piece and we should be able to use that. There we go. Trim off the edges. And if you don't want to do this step, you don't have to. I just wanted it to um, have a little bit of pop. All right, there's my square edge. So I'm going down here. I'll just roll that excess to the back. Grab another strip. Try to make it the same size. All right, I'm going to have a little trimming to do down here because I didn't line it up perfect. All right, there we go. Let me get all this garbage out of here and that sticky old mat. All right, we will bring in our four cards. and decide how we want to put these together. All right, this one here, I did it wrong. Do you see that? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. How in the heavens did I do that? <laughs> We're gonna decorate this one up a little more. Yes, we are. We're going to go all the way around this one just because I messed up. All right, sorry about that. Bet you guys caught that on camera and we're saying, What is she doing? No. All right, trim that, trim that. Get some adhesive on this flap and we're going to trim this one too. There we go. This one's going to be totally different because I totally messed up. Alright, so if that one was to go there and this one was to go here. 
And this one was to go there. Then this one could go here. What do you think? Good enough? All right, I am going to get some adhesive on here and we're gonna get these glued down. Now you can do these landscape if you desire, or you can keep them all vertical. I did a mix in my first set that I did, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. We'll just see what happens. There we go. There's two. I like using the Tombow to put these pieces on because it gives me that little bit of wiggle room. The tape runner was just easy for the strips because those were just putting on those borders. All right. There we go. Now... I'm just going to give you an idea. Oh, see, that was actually two pieces that were glued together that I'm using there. Told you this was all scrap bin stuff. This is kind of the idea that we're going to go for. Now, if you wanted these to be too horizontal and too vertical, you can do whatever makes you happy. Okay? All right, now we're going to set these aside for a minute and do a bit of stamping. I don't know what we're gonna do because I haven't planned that far. We're just winging it by the seat of our pants. Um, that little stamp says just for you, kind of like that. And what am I gonna do here? I think maybe I just might put this big guy because I really don't want this. Oh, you know what? I just got a new stamp set today. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Big. Oh, I like that. We're going to use this new stamp set. We're going to forget this one. I was going to go that way just because it's the strawberry paper that I'm using. We're going to use the new stamp set I just got called Big Hooray. And I am going to use the one that says, Hey there. All right, now I think I'm going to set up the Stamparatus and just use this corner as my guide. Hey there. So I've got it touching here and touching here. So that will be my guide for my next one that I pick up, or that I lay down there. And that way I don't have to move my stamp. All right, so I am going to go with uh, Rich Razzleberry ink. Because I think the Blackberry Bliss would be way too dark. So let's, whoops, I have enough ink on there. Let's give it a whirl and see what happens. 
see that looks pretty dark doesn't it can you imagine if i had to use uh, the blackberry bliss i don't know maybe i should flip that over and see try a different color that might be too too dark let me try highland heather that colors in there as well we'll try both and see which one we like better and i don't have any ink on the tea okay get it back in position on the line and to the edge all right let's give this a good look i do not like it on here <laughs> I'm not a fan. I'm really not a fan. So I am going to make the executive decision to not use either of those. And we are going to clean that stamp. And I am going to go to black. Because black goes with everything. Now whether I can line this back up again, I don't know. And stamp over it with black. I seriously doubt it. Let's see. It's close, but I think it needs to go up just a smidge. Let's try it. Worst case scenario, it doesn't work. Guess what? I'm going to use it. I am going to use it. There, there. Ink. I'm going to ink it up a couple of times so it's nice and black. I love, love, love these big, bold greetings. That's why I bought this stamp. And this one here can be used for any occasion, right? Just have that on the front and then you can put whatever you like on the inside. Last one. And then we get to put these babies together. going to leave that stamp on there. I will take care of that after the video. And I am just going to pop this together. And I'm wondering if maybe I shouldn't put a couple of those little solid flowers on here. I'm going to try one. 
If we don't like it, we don't like it. But I'm going to try it. Actually, let's try it on the one that's not perfect. Hey there. It works for me. I'm going to use them. so well. Ha! Huh. Thank goodness they were see-through stamps. There we go. So those are dolled up a little bit. Let's have glue on the back of our card. There we go fixed. All right, a little bit of glue on here. A little bit of glue on this one. Alright, now, I was going to use dimensionals, but I am just going to glue these ones flat. On my other ones, I did use dimensionals. This one, I'm going to do different. And I just go to the point where there's a little um, overlap and just cover that up because it's not perfect right at the overlap. we go. All right, now all we need to do is embellish. And I need to find some embellishments. Now we should have something in the center of those flowers. And I'm trying to find something a little substantial. None of those are going to match. So we're not going to play that game. can do here. No, that's not going to work either. The thought was good. What else do we have? Oh, let's try these opal rounds. They have little pinky purple flecks in them. Let's try one. I think that works. Just gives it a little something something. And put centers in those flowers. No, oh, up here. That's where I was. No glue dot on that one. Let's try that again. There we go. And I think I am going to put one extra on each card. Uh, 
I like to do my embellishments in threes or fives so we'll go three for these cards and those are the opal rounds that I used don't have enough hands here there we go all right let's get this out of the way and we will straighten things out here we're all askew and have a look and see these simple but cute cards and you could stamp on the inside as well if you wanted you could add some ribbon I'm gonna leave mine plain there's the two in garden green and here's the two that are in granny apple green now as promised I am going to show you the ones that I tried to show you the first time and for this one I used the a teacup set and the teacup coordinating envelopes so there is card one and these are the in colors that I used there is card two I love these coordinating cards and envelopes and they're white inside so you don't need to put anything in them here is card number three and on these ones I just used plain rhinestones and the greeting is on all of them is the same it says I just can't I just can't thank you enough and here is our green one so there are the four teacup cards and here are the four that we made today all right thanks so much for stopping by today i would love to see what cards you come up with get in that scrap bin and all you need is a six by six dsp i'd love to see your cards thanks for stopping by bye bye